Oh, here we are. We're uh, nearly there. Seats are uh, covered. So I'll just test them out. See how they're going. Very comfy. Uh, so I've got to put the seats in, put some mats down, um, put some carpets in. Still waiting for some drive shaft boots to arrive, and that's the only thing that's holding me up. Then I can do the uh, rest of the drive shafts, um, and then uh, get the wing on at the front, get the bonnet on, uh, and I've got some two doors to put on as well. So we're nearly there. So, you might notice in there the, the gold stuff, so I've put some uh, some of the proprietary uh, stuff in for uh, sound deadening. Not quite sure how far up the, the carpet part goes. Um, can't seem to find a right hand drive sound deadening pad just for the bottom, they just seem to come in whole kits. Um, so I'm going to figure that one out in a minute. So. Everything else is good to go. So we'll probably throw in the back seat and then uh, maybe look at the front. So maybe the fronts first and then the backs. That might be easier. Well, we'll give it a go both ways. Let's get this some mats in first so we uh, can avoid scratching up all the uh, floor as soon as it's so beautifully clean. So, mats down. So these are the original mats um, and you can already see that I need to do something more I'm trying to get some light in there I need to do something more between the uh, the gold stuff uh, and the uh, and where the mat goes so I will figure out how to do that um, obviously there's quite a bit on show there as well so you don't want the gold stuff floating about so I'll have to uh, maybe think about how to do that um, in a minute okay so I've used some um, foam rubber insulation to do the uh, the bulkhead part across the front and um, I think that looks okay now it's very difficult to get in there to look but you know uh, perhaps that helps so that's what it looks like so underneath that is the um, uh, the sound dampening stuff so uh, Hopefully that'll keep some of the racket out. Well, here we go. First try out, actually sitting in the car. Pretty good. I need to uh, need to just tighten these runners down. I just want to wriggle about in the seats a bit and just make sure they run smoothly. This one's a bit funny. I'll have to give that a go. Around a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we're in. Feels like a car now. For the first time. Can't wait to give it a drive. I do have one slight problem. The ashtray is missing its little spring. So it won't stay in the hole. It's going to fly out every time the blistering acceleration kicks in. It'll just all the way back. Anyway, good, we're in. Seats. Mats. We're knocking things off now at a rate of knots. These doors are going to have to get done in the next day or two. Then hopefully I get the drive shaft uh, gaiters, I can do the drive shaft. Then I can get the wing on, I could do that beforehand but I can't be. And then get the bonnet on. Uh, and then we can uh, turn our attention to cutting, polishing up the paintwork. Get rid of some of my orange peel. And then we're then we're there. Yeah, man,
to avoid the sort of blanket restriction now being introduced in Wales. Right, bit of good news. This arrived in the post, that's what I've been waiting for. It's an interface um, thing. So you stick it on there, and it gives you a softer, squidgier surface to put your disc on so that you stand less chance of burning through whilst going round bends. There's lots of corners on 2CV, so you know you don't want to be burning through those, so it'll help to just make sure that this sits a bit closer to the, uh, the work than just a hard flat panel. So that's going to be a winner. I'm going to give it a go. Okay, um, I'm at the um, uh, exciting stage of cutting and uh, polishing the paint. So uh, you can see that it doesn't look quite so shiny at the moment. Let's have a quick walk around and I can show you where we are. So this is the uh, this is the paint as it came out of the gun. Okay, so I've now been over the door twice. You just see me go over that, so gives you a bit of an idea of what sort of finish we've got. That's just wet. Um, get the light the other way. So that's now pretty flat. It's got some, it's got some bumpy bits still just in this area. Probably have to go over that a third time. The rest, of it, the rest of that is pretty good. Obviously I'm trying to avoid getting into the edges because that's where you're most likely to burn through the paint. So I don't want to touch those if I can help it. But uh, you know, if, um, if we were going for the Aston Martin finish, then it would be all completely matte like you see this part is. Um, but uh, um, that would mean probably about a week of just doing this. Okay, let's carry on. I've been uh, now polishing, hopefully, that you can start to see how we've managed to get have managed to get rid of most of the orange peel from here now we've got a pretty uh, pretty good finish i think so um how i did that was uh eventually because i've spent hang on hang on let's think um probably I would think it must be four days, four days doing the flatting. And what I ended up doing, I started out doing it with 2000 first, and it was just taking too long. So I went with 1500 first, did the whole car in 1500, and uh, then I went over it again, the whole car again with 2000, um, 2000 grit, and it's, it's a wet day and my tent's leaking, but hopefully this is this is the finish that I was getting with get alongside it. This is the finish left with 2000 grit, having gone over the whole thing with 2000 grit. So um, having gone over the whole thing with 2000 grit, I'm then going in with the, the polishing mop and I'm starting to get this sort of finish up. Okay, so straight from the 2000, I've gone in polishing. Polish I've been using is this stuff, and I've been putting that on. Uh, I'm basically doing that twice. Um, 
and that starts to bring a bit of a shine up and then in order to get rid of the haziness in it I've then been going in with this stuff um, finishing compound uh, and doing that job twice as well so going with the finishing compound twice I'm still I'm still not convinced that I've got the best shine up yet so it may need doing again but I think it's pretty good and of course I've been using water using my using my soft mop um, you could probably use harder ones I don't know what you're supposed to use I'm using quite a soft one here um, and uh, of course using uh, using water as well um, to keep everything nice and uh, flexible so this how well you can see that so th that's the uh, that's the finish I managed to get up on the boot lid you can probably see in some places where I haven't managed to get all of the orange peel out like in the in the middle here can you see that at all no, maybe not so it's uh it's pretty good I, I'm pretty pleased with it really uh, there was a lot of orange peel so it's taken me a long time to get it off so uh, you know message there is um, you know get cleverer at painting and then it won't take so long to do all the finishing stuff <laughs> anyway there we go um, so I'm gonna crack on now and uh, get, keep polishing got to do the rest of the car um, with a bit of luck I'll get it done today but we'll see on polishing see the, see the camera a bit better I'm pretty pretty happy with that it's not too bad the bonnets come up nicely Hopefully you can see that with the wind blowing everything about Yeah, pretty pleased with that. That's uh, pretty good. That's pretty good that I set myself. Right, now for the wings. Not looking forward to this part. Too curvy. Right, we're going for a spin. Right, first time out on the road, so anything can happen, probably will. So if I can just attach that to the seat. That's about right. Okay. I haven't polished it. Speed records here. Speedo's working, I think. It says we're doing thirty. Seems about right. We have fourth gear. Probably a bit high for uh, this job. Seems to be enough though. Seems 
nice. No rattles and bangs. to adjust the brakes.
Just those brakes before we do anything else. Uh, I started this on the, uh, I think it was the 4th of July, that rings a bell for some reason or another. 4th of July, um, and it's now mid October, and I have spent Three thousand two hundred pounds, I think, on parts and paint, um, and then the rest of that is all my time. Uh, and there's well over five hundred hours uh, working on this car. But you know, I, I, I would have liked to have kept this car, but I'm not going to be able to keep it. So this car is going to be uh, going to be sold. I'm afraid it's going to have to make way for the uh, for the next project around here. Um, so I'll be giving it a shakedown, of course, once I've uh, got the whole thing finished and uh, checking that everything works properly. And there'll probably be a few things that will need squaring up there. I'll, I'll put that in the videos too. But we're pretty much there with this thing. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you've watched through all the way through to this part, then uh, you've really stuck with it. Thank you very much. And uh, um, I apologise for my appalling camera antics and batteries running out and bits being missed all over the place but uh, hopefully you've managed to get a really good flavour of uh, what needs to be done if you're you know, rebuilding a 2CV that hasn't seen the road for well over 30 years. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, keep on my channel because you may find that I'm doing some other things too uh, that you might find of interest too. So in the meantime, take care, stay safe, watch out for pandemics. Bye. Okay, there she is. So, uh, 1975, 2CV6, hasn't seen the road. The fastest it's been was today when uh, my good mate uh, Rob, Rob Newland, uh, helped me to um, pull it back up here from the uh, lock up down the road. So, we towed it in uh, on the back of the old Skoda. Uh, and uh, Rob very kindly sat and you know steered the old 2CV home so uh, here she is so like I say 1975 uh, model it's a year after they were first introduced back into the UK um, so uh, the, the, the front wings are non-standard um, so when they were reintroduced back into the UK it came with lovely square headlamps I like these some people may not I like them they make the car look extra proggy parked it too close to the garage now so you can't get the full effect um i reckon this uh this bonnet's probably seen better days uh, and the grill is missing uh so that's not so great um but uh, we've got some lovely lovely new wings on the front it's had four own well actually it's had th it's had one previous owner to be perfectly honest one previous careful owner and three bad ones who didn't give a toss um so the the good bits we'll come to if we can find any uh, so first of all you've got the uh, the air conditioning here the the air conditioning does work I have opened and shut the uh, the air conditioning unit so uh, that's working perfectly uh, many some new wipers these might have seen better days um, and we've got a little bit of rot along the old bonnet hinge here which uh, is pretty much standard on these but uh, the uh, rest of the screen surround doesn't look actually too bad don't know where the mirror's gone. We'll go and hunt for that in a while as well. Um, Someone's been going crazy with the uh, the underseal along the bottom here, so we're going to have to scrape all of that stuff off. Look at that, that's classy, that is. Uh, we're going to have to scrape all of that off to find out what horrors lie beneath. Uh, but uh, the doors aren't too bad. Uh, we've got a few dents and what have you, but I mean, what do you expect? It is a TCV. A little bit of rust here. Um, oh, I've got to show you this. This, this is great. Check out the steering wheel. Uh, I think it. I think it's got coronavirus or something. It's, it's, there's something going on with that. If anyone out there has a brown 2CV6 steering wheel that isn't diseased, I'd really like it because <laughs> I, I don't even want to touch that. That's evil. Rob had to wear uh, gloves to do that. Clever man. Uh, electric windows are working perfectly there's nothing wrong with any of that um, wheels might need a bit of a refurb uh, and the tires have seen better better days i think 
we've got the original capital radio sticker there um, and uh, moving into uh, moving around to the back we've got broken lamp bent bumper 2cv cross sticker uh, and the classic give peace a chance so uh, not looking too bad really around around this side apart from the apart from the under seal stuck on doors not bad um, very nice sticker there might keep that and uh, I found a bit of filler in the door there which I which I scooped out with a screwdriver yesterday because I just wanted to see what was there but actually there is actually metal there so it was just a dent somebody decided to fill it instead of knocking it back out again so that's how things look on the outside so not too bad the roofs um, uh, kind of seen better days we've got a couple of holes in there but nothing a bit of gaffer tape couldn't fix and on the inside things could be better so obviously the the most evil part is going to be the floor because it's a 2cv and so there's a bolt there which may have a purpose in life it's hard to tell uh we'll find out um but uh yeah i mean we've got the accelerator pedal for some reason is actually um here on the uh, here on the dash so uh, we'll have to do something about that the uh, the heater controls are uh, uh, jammed terrible Somebody's been putting their feet on the dashboard. Uh, this seat is only the start of the knackered items. Um, pity really, because the, the brown vinyl that you used to get yourself welded to when you were a kid on a hot day, uh, it, I think is particularly good. Um, we've got special safety features here on the, uh, on the seat runners that uh, someone's fitted. Um, and you'll see a lovely hole just back there. Look, look at that. Lovely. We'll enjoy that later. So that's not so great. In the back, the uh, the rear parts of the uh, floor don't look actually too bad, surprisingly. The the other ones, um, someone's gone a bit mad with something or other. We're going to have a look at that in a sec. But um, you know, in the main, it's not looking that bad. Easy, easy peasy, really. Um, and it do, it has been z-barted from new. Whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know. But uh, Mr. Z-Bar, if you're looking, this is the evidence of your work. I hope you're feeling good about it. Um, let's have a, I'm going to take this coffee off here actually, because with suspension as wobbly as this, what do you think of that? Right, um, so we've got a, I don't know what's going on here, like an aluminium panel that's just been stuck on there. Clearly the bottom of the bulkhead is, um, um, a bit rotten but i don't know how rotten i pulled all the uh the uh the underseal stuff off oh look oh, there's a just found a bit of the that's the uh, mirror isn't it yeah so we found a bit of it bit of that um but yeah somebody's gone a bit mad down here with underseal and bits of metal so that's horrible and in the back here yeah you can see it's equally ugly so we're probably going to need to spend a bit more time doing floors on this side and who knows what the seals are like under that black horrible stuff probably manky um so that's that's that um this is a drum brake model um so uh gotta do something with those and get those working right it does roll okay so that's good um but uh, everything else under here is um, just a bit filthy really i mean seem worse the uh that's got the z bart stuff all over it so we'll um we'll give it a clean up it does turn over i've turned it over with the, cr the crank handle so we'll find out whether or not uh, that goes in a while and then uh, we can take a look in the boot didn't we so in the boot nice and crunchy uh it, things aren't too bad with the, with, with the notable exception of um, the bump stop area, which is fairly typical on these, which is rotted out completely on both sides. Oh look, there's the remains of the front grille, look. That should be the front grille. But uh, I won't take the wheel out right now, uh, but I did check around the, the inside here and the rest of the boot floor is good. And this might need a new tyre, we'll have to see. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of it. Got some new lights as well to fix the uh, broken one there. Crunchy.
What's the chassis like? Don't know. We will find out. We'll find out in due course. I could have a quick look now, couldn't I? While we're on concrete. Okay. You talked me into it. So here we are underneath. And this is the worst side. And as you can see, it is a bit ugly. It's got to be said. And there's some sorts of bits hanging. I don't know what's going on there. What's that hanging off? I don't know. I'm not a 2CV expert. So I'm going to be looking for lots of uh, advice and help from people on what I should be doing here. You see these drive shafts have had it. Yuck. Pieces are off. It's a nice windy day. What have we got here? Um, probably should have an exhaust there. Uh, bit crispy underneath there that doesn't look so clever yeah, no, this floor looks great that's all very unpleasant oh there's the exhaust look you can see it now there you go um yeah uh, we'll have to examine the chassis in some detail but i can't see any sort of obvious ugly bits but um the floors are ugly that's for certain okay oh, i'm gonna sign off there because i've spent 10 minutes on this already so I'll uh, come back to you with more. Bye.